Thanks so much for watching Virginia this morning here on CBS 6. The Tin Pan is excited to be bringing live music back to their venue this weekend. Recently, Bill spoke with the owner. Here's their conversation. The Tin Pan is getting ready to reopen this weekend for live music. Wow. Joining us now to talk about what you can expect from their upcoming events is owner Lisa Harrison. And to say that I'm excited to talk to you about this would be a little bit of an understatement. Oh, thank and you. And I think thank everybody you. in town that's ever been in the Tin Pan has been waiting for this day. Congratulations. Well, thank you. If we wouldn't be here and reopening without the great support of the community, that's for sure. Yeah, so th this is um, a, a day we've been looking forward to. Obviously, COVID precautions and all of that safety protocol is going to be followed and, and all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. But, okay, we got that out of the way. Let's talk about the show. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the fun part, right? The first show, uh, saxophonist Kim Want uh, Waters is going to be there for the opening. He's been there before. You love him. The people in Richmond love him. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, he's he's a fantastic. He brings a great jazz band with him. He's a saxophonist. He's been around for oh, 35 to 40 years. He has a very strong following. We have him for two shows on Sunday, July 18th, and then we have him for another show the evening of July 19th. I think there's still tickets left for July 19th on a Monday night. Yeah, so but if you want to see him, I would go ahead and get your tickets pretty quickly. All We're right, very so excited to have him back, though. For the, for the folks who missed the Tin Pan experience uh, as it, when it began and up until COVID, this is a place where musicians love to play because people aren't, uh, you know, uh, hanging out at a bar. They're not, uh, you know, they're watching and listening to the show and they're really interested. And by the way, the food is great too. We are gonna have food, right? Oh, of course. Absolutely. Okay, we got good. a lot of great new items on the menu. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's a listening room and people go and you don't have to worry about, you know, people next to you talking. You, you have your meal. You enjoy that. That gets done. And then you sit back and you relax and watch an amazing show. And tell us a little bit about your staff and how they feel about being able to be part of this excitement again. Oh, absolutely. So um, some of our staff, well, a good portion of our staff will be coming back with us. They're excited about coming back and they're just excited about working again. And then a couple couple of people kind of moved to a different state or went on to a different job and, and more power to them. That's great. But then we also have some new faces that will be coming on to our, our staff um, in the back of the house and in the front of the house. So um, we're really excited about just rejoining everybody and having a great team. Everybody's excited about it. All right, so I'm a big fan. It's a great place to listen to music, but let's go back to the food again. <laughs> All right, so have we got any new menu items or some of the faves going to be back? How's that going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a few new appetizers. We're working on a, a nice Brussels sprout appetizer that sprinkled with some, some uh, balsamic vinaigrette and a uh, little garlic. I think it's going to really uh, hit it on the ballpark. That's going to be a really great item. And we're putting a steak on the menu, a New York strip, a prime New York strip. So we're excited about that. Putting a, a salmon on the menu and um, a few new sandwiches. And But a lot of the old ones that people loved that got every, the same person got every single time they came back, we're still <laughs> going to have those as well. Well, uh, we're talking about uh, the big grand reopening with Kim Waters. Can you, are you at liberty to tell us about some acts that you are working on and some you've got booked uh, all through the summer? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So for the night, for the month of July, um, after Kim opens up uh, our doors, then we have, uh, for the rest of July, we have five or six more shows to get us through the July. We have a great, uh, a guy who started Squirrel Nut Zippers, Jim Mathis and the Dial Back Boys. He's that week as well, I think July 21st. That's gonna be a really fun show. We've got a U2 tribute coming in July, at the end of July, Bullet the Blue Sky. I highly re recommend that if you're a U2 fan. And then we have, um, in, in August, we have a great Queen tribute band coming. That's gonna be there for two nights. That's gonna be a rockin', rockin' party. So I highly suggest if you're a Queen fan to get tickets to that. Um, we have Susan Greenbaum coming back in August. She's gonna be there for two nights. We have a great Elton John tribute coming in September. So if you're, you're he's gonna be there for two nights. So if you're a fan of Elton John, I would highly recommend you get tickets to them as well. 
Lisa, we're so excited for you. Well, thank uh, we're, you. We're up and running again at the Tin Pan. Thank you so much for all you've been uh, through and all you're going to do for us in the future. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all the community support for us. All thank right. you. Big okay, thank you to bye -bye. our friend Lisa. And Kim Waters is performing at the Tin Pan, is performing Sunday, July the 18th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. and on Monday, July the 19th at 8 p.m. For more information about the upcoming shows, visit tinpanrva.com. And Virginia This Morning returns right after this.